Hello, my Basset Hound friends and my sexy on the Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk here. I'm finally back with more DC Anthology Underworld. <laughs> this took me such a long time just to get this chick here, so she's finally here at this parking, parking lot, so you don't know how long it's took me to get this one, so it's not raining at all. Here she is, it's Valerie. So, uh, here we go. <clears throat> v for Vendetta, that's funny. I'm about to meet Valerie, who can give me insights on how to find the killer. There must be a reason why I'm helping David to catch the killer. What I'm about to find out might be shocking. Alright. I'm excited to get into the next part. So, let's read. I wait for a while until someone approaches me from behind. Yes, she's Valerie. Hello, Mr. Assbutt. <laughs> I'm glad you're still alive. If I haven't inverted, intervened back then at the city park, you're probably dead right now. Jesus. Oh, exactly. Grr. What? So? It was you who hit me from behind my back. Why did you do that? Sorry, I got itch in my nose. Oh my god, her pissed face. Look at that. <laughs> She's so pissed. I'm trying to save you from getting killed. That's why! Exclamation point. If you warn the girl, the killer will notice you. We'll be dead and all of these are for nothing. Since when did you follow me? Why didn't you tell me the truth from the beginning? Question mark. I have to get Catherine to dig up your past. Wow. Didn't you know me? I'm Aunt Valerie, your father. Douglas Hunt was my brother. Bless him in heaven. What? Are you related? That explains why I'm able to recognize you from the photo. I've lost my memories a few months ago. I don't remember much about my past since the last time I woke up at the beach. I see. That explains your weird behavior ever since I've been following you. You came to me a few months ago to ask about the killer. Then, you disappear. David met me recently. It was an, his idea for me to follow you in case you screw up the plan. If you, if David hasn't suggested that, you're probably dead right now. Oh, I'm getting to the angry phase again. Grr! I'm grateful that you've saved my life, but how can you let the girl die? Itchy eye. Don't you think I didn't feel bad for that? Sometimes we have to make a tough decision. I have to let you live so you can avenge your father's death. I remember a flashback of mourning for Douglas Hunt. Was he really my father? Was he really dead? Yes, the killer was responsible for that. That's why I joined David and his team to catch the killer a decade ago. This is your chance, Mr. Asput. Find the killer and avenge your father. We don't have much time left. You must convince David's daughter to come to Dream City. Convince the psychic girl, yeah. <clears throat> What do you mean by that? I thought David asked me to call her that he's okay. He doesn't want to get her worried. That's bullshit. We can use her to find the killer. Let me ask you this. How are you going to find the killer? I've spent, I've seen you trying to find those tapes. Those tapes aren't going to help you to find the killer. I have been in David's team for several years. I knew a lot 
of his secrets, especially with regard to her daughter. She's a psychic, just like her mother. We can use her to find the killer. Your job is to convince her to come to Dream City. Both of you will stand a chance to fight, to find, and defeat the killer. So let me get this straight. The reason I'm helping David is that I want to find the killer and avenge my father. That explains why I fought, I fought him a few months ago, even though I knew I might get killed. God, <laughs> you what? Haven't I told you countless time, countless time that you should not engage him directly? Snipe him, poison him. Suddenly, Valerie's looking up. What the fuck? Oh, that's something out of a horror movie. That's pretty cool. When I look up, I see a man falling down from the rooftop of the condominium. His body smashes on top of the car with a loud thumping sound. Oh, shit. That's Greg. That's Victoria's ex-husband. Why did he commit suicide? This doesn't make any sense. Valerie tries to look up towards the rooftop. That's not a suicide. He's being pushed from the rooftop. Oh my god! The killer is here! She gives me a tape. Protect the girl at any cost. She's the key of all of this. I'm leaving the city. Do not try to find me again. She then runs away. I play the tape Valerie gave to me. I was shocked when I listened to David using Maria as a bait to catch the killer. I need to talk to Maria about it. Valerie asked me to find David's daughter. I checked the business card David gave to me. Her name is Priscilla. I should talk to Maria to ask for her advice. This is like a nightmare to me. Witnessing a death, hiding from the killer, and now it dawns on me that I'm on a vendetta mission. How the hell I end up in this kind of a situation? Oh wow, there he is. Look at that. Hello. So I got a mission. Let's see, I'm in a checklist. Let's see. I think I met her now. Convince Priscilla to come to Dream City. Talk to Maria. I think she's back to the library, right? Maria's back to the library? Oh, Maria. Who's that person? Oh, that's her. That's Maria. Duh. Talk to Maria. How am I going to find her, actually? Is she still in the park? Let's see. Fuck off, taxi. No, she's not here. Oh, she might show up at 9 or something. So, uh... Probably 9 p.m. Hmm. I'm going to pass the time until I find Maria again. So, uh... I'll fast forward for you guys to see her. All right, guys, it took me a while to get to Maria again. So here she is. Holy crap. All right, she's here. Let's talk to her. Did you find the woman? Did she have the tape? <clears throat> yes, I've met her. She gave me the tape. Can you believe it if I tell you she's my aunt? This is insane. My whole family is involved in this mess, but n that's not the worst part. Grr, the worst part is I found out the reason I helped David is because this is a chance for me to avenge my father. The killer was responsible for my father's death. I was driven by a vendetta. 
After I saw what the killer is capable of doing, I will finish whatever I'm supposed to be doing. I swear he's going to pay for what he did. Do not let your hatred get the better of you, Mr. Assfoot. I don't want you to end up like Norman. He, he has so much hatred that it consumes him from within. Thank you, Maria, for your concerns, but I'll do what's the best for me. I think I have the most of the tapes, but I need to. But I need the mind potions. Do you finish creating it? She shows me several vials. Yes, I have it. But before I can give it to you, I must ask this: How are you going to find the killer? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. The woman I've met, Valerie, asked me to convince David's daughter to come to Dream City. She can help me to find the killer. <clears throat> no! You can't do that! This is a trap! If the killer manages to get her, she'll be sacrificed. I won't let that happen to her. What makes you think she'll be safe if we leave her? For all we know, the killer might hire someone to kidnap her and bring her to the city. If we have her around, I can protect her. If you think I'll use her as a bait to lure the killer, you don't have to worry. I won't do that. What? So it seems you knew about the event that happened 20 years ago. It was a big mistake to use me, to use me a bait. Using <clears throat> someone had died because of that. I don't want anyone to go through that horrible experience again, especially for David's daughter. Alright, I promise you I will not use her as a bait. But there's one thing that I don't understand. You've been the killer's target once. Why didn't the killer finish what he's supposed to be doing? I mean, no disrespect, but I have to know the logic of it. He's a superstitious man. I'm like a jinx to him. He failed the first time to get me, and then for the second time, he almost get caught. He won't dare to touch me, but that doesn't mean he'll leave me. He tries to make me suffer. He'll stop at nothing to punish people who cause trouble to him. This is the reason why we have to convince David's daughter to come to the city so I can protect her. If what you've said is true, then the killer might take the opportunity to get to her. Hmm. You do have a good point there. Alright, I accept your plan to bring her, but you must promise me that you'll protect her. Yes, I promise that. May I borrow your phone? Maria gives me your phone and dials the number, blah, blah, blah. Hello? Is this Priscilla? Oh, it's the chick from the last game I played. <laughs> I called her Miss Bitch Tits. Hello, hi, Mr. Asput? Um, why did you change the phone number? I can't contact you for months. Er, do you know me, miss? Mr. Asput? This is not funny. I'm serious. I'm trying to contact my dad, but he didn't answer the phone. What happened to him? Is he okay? Are you with him? Oh, I don't want to lie to her. Um, should I tell her the truth? Hmm, this is a decision here. I'm going to tell her the truth. I have to bring a bad news. Your father has been missing. I can't find him. What are you talking about? I thought he was going to meet you at Dream City for some work. 
Yeah, I met him in the city, but then he went to meet someone a few days later. I can't contact him on the phone. Oh my god. Did you report to the police? I can't do that. He's not the citizen, but you don't have to worry. I'm trying to find him as we speak. I can't stand here doing nothing. I knew there's something happened to him ever since he didn't answer the phone. I need to find my dad. How old are you, Priscilla? David said to me that you're in high school, right? Why are you asking me this question? You are acting very weird, as if you don't know me. Did something happen to you? <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. I'm fine. Hmm. It seems I've met the girl before I've lost my memories. What's my relationship to her? What's the last thing that you said to me the last time we've met? Er... Shit. She got me. Okay. I have to act cool. I don't want to trigger her suspicion. I knew it! There's something bad happened to you. You know that? You know what? I'm going to Dream City. Yeah, that's it. I'll make... I'll take the ferry to Dream City. Three days from now, I need to prepare something. Can you wait for me at the port in the morning? I should probably arrive at the city at 9 a.m., I guess. So three days, 9 a.m., got it. Yes, I'll wait at the port. See you there. Thanks, Mr. Assbutt, for telling me the truth. Well, at least I tell the truth, right? I return the phone to Maria. Well, that turns out to be much better than what I've expected. She volunteers herself to come to Dream City. Hmm. Smart move. You conveniently didn't mention about the killer. If you tell her David was captured by the killer, will she volunteer herself? When she does arrive, can you bring her to me so I can talk to her? Yes, I'll do that. And that is it, my best sound friends and my sex and pi cuties. I'll save it for the next video. So it's three days and 9 a.m., I guess. So Saturday, Sunday. Oh, yeah, Monday. Okay, so, um, well, it's going to get a lot better. Hope It might be the last video or the next video. Who knows in this series? <laughs> I kind of want to move on to other games, to be honest. And uh, I'm still having fun with this game. Don't get me wrong. And, uh. God, it took me so long for this point. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified on all of my videos and notifications and such. Also, and share and like this video of DC Anthology Underworld. Some part, I don't remember. And uh, I will see you, my best home friends and my sex and pie cuties on my next video. See you sure. Later.